Okay, so today I'm going to feed our baby mouse birds, our baby bird room. Um, at the moment I've got a baby mouse bird, a baby swift, and some baby mannequins. So the first one I'm going to feed is this little mouse bird over here. They all get different diets, so like he'll have a very red colored diet. So it's got like the berries and stuff like that for him. The interesting thing about these little birds is that the parents actually stimulate them when they're really, really young. So it's a situation where baby won't poop on his own. Um, so you have to actually stimulate him to get him to poop. But at this age, he's pooping on his own. Sorry, my baby. One more. You had enough? So, so generally their, their diet would consist of a fruit diet with um, a little bit of seeds, but majority fruit, they enjoy hibiscus, mulberries, um, any little thing along those lines, any pawpaws. Okay, so the next bird I'm going to feed is a little white run swift. He is one of the late babies of our season because most of them have migrated already. So we're just keeping him nice and fat and as soon as this new season of the season comes to an end, we'll be able to release him. Come here, Baba. This is a little dude here. Very eager. So they get a syringe feed, but then I also do give them more of a solid feed. So they'll get mealworms, um, crickets, and if there's flying ants, we'll give them flying ants. So sometimes they don't always open their mouths, so I'll just gently help them. Obviously the moisture is pretty important because they need to get quite a bit of moisture, otherwise they dehydrate. Um, the thing about these ones is that they, when they land on the ground, their legs are very short, so they can't actually lift off the ground. And they're also birds that um, eat, on, eat on the wing, so they'll never eat off a bowl of food. Um, so they'll just constantly eat off the, on, on the wing. And my last little ones that I'm feeding are little bronze mannequins. You normally see them in flocks around your homes. These are their favorite grasses. As they get bigger, they love to eat these grasses. And Mom normally makes the nest out of these grass. She'll strip it and then make the nest from that. Are you hungry? Are you starving? Oh my goodness. Oops, come here. I'll just keep an eye on that one. Just close the door. You can see their little crop over here on the side, that little bulgy area, that's their crop. So they eat quite well. Come on, down you go. Where is your sibling? I'll find him now. Excuse me, you're going to be a funny brother. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so here we have some Egyptian gosling babies. We put them in a box like this just so they don't stress. When they're a little bit older, they do get put outside so they get sun, which in the next two days will probably be the time to move them outside. Um, they have been abandoned by mom and dad. Mom and dad obviously had one baby and then left it, um, and then they ended up here at the center. So we'll hand raise them or rear them and then release them back into the world. <laughs> 